Hi everyone. I am back with another video. I recently started reading A Woman is No Man by E. Tafram. When I first saw the title, I knew I had to read the book. I saw the blurb and learned the book was about two women who are struggling to live an independent life and marry for love. I figured that Palestine, like many other countries, must have oppressive traditions and cultures. I thought I knew what I was getting into. And just within a few pages of the book, I knew the book was much more than I expected it to be. The raw truths, hard-hitting comments about society, and observations of the double standards that exist in our society were all too relatable. A story about a girl from Palestine in 1990, and a girl of Palestinian roots in Brooklyn in 2008 is relatable to me, someone from India in 2022. So let's just say something, the world is a messed up place, where the only common thing is oppression. Oppressors and the oppressed vary from place to place and from time to time. But the oppression exists. To get specific in terms of, a woman is no man, it focuses on the oppressive traditions, cultures, and beliefs of a Palestinian family when it comes to their woman. I haven't yet completed the book but here are my initial thoughts. This book has so many triggering incidents from domestic violence, slurp shaming, and marital R-word, as far as I have read. The book is raw and unpolished. I cried so many times already, and I haven't even crossed 100 pages. Reading is seen as a sin, which sends me flashes of Gilead from The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Reading will liberate any individual and education plays an important role in making a person rational and independent. But the fact that these people know that and restrict women from being educated is what makes me furious. Every time someone gets mad at Isra or Dea for reading, their worst fear is coming true. These women reading and learning things are becoming separate individuals with their own minds. And that is the worst thing that can happen. Both Isra and Dea are constantly reminded that they don't belong in their own home because they are supposed to marry and leave one day. They're people of a different household and are staying there only till their marriage. So many Indian parents love to do this to their girl children. They might go as far as telling their girl children should leave as soon as possible. Isra's mother reminds her that marriage and motherhood are the only two things a woman is worth for. Now, where have I heard this before? When Isra says she wanted to fall in love and her mother questions did she raise a hole, I got so mad I almost threw the book across the room. The common thing seen throughout the book as far as I have read is, reputation is everything. This is what stops so many people from doing what they love. Have I heard this before in my household? Yes. Parents and their incessant obsession with reputation will ruin everything for everyone. When Dea asks, so why does my entire life have to revolve around a man? I felt it so hard. I have asked the same question to my mother just a few years ago. I still do. The book has become a close-to-heart book already. If you haven't read A Woman is No Man already, feel free to check out the link in description. Believe me, the book is worth every penny. Once I finish the book, I will be back with a complete review. Until then, bye.